Hello, everybody. Hello, Sotiris. How are you? Yasas from Crete. How do you say? How do you, say, well. how do you, you. say it in 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 Greek? Yasas. 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 Yes. We, which means to your health. It means oh, to your health. Oh, that's a very <laughs> nice hello to you here. It's like yeah. I, I see you to your health. I like it. <laughs> yeah. So let me tell by saying that uh, through the whole tour, I, I'm just going to go uh, directly there because something very interesting. From Tenerife, Mallorca, Sardinia, and Sicily. Uh, the the person <coughs> who say yes to be the co-creators organizers um, we have met already long time ago in this lifetime but so Tiris, we just have our uh, meeting again through this Durna project in in Crete and now Cyprus mm -hmm. and uh, I say uh, I send a very good vibe to our common friend Marco, who was the one who recommended me Sotiris. And the first time we call, I just got shivers, and it's like, oh, this is going to be fantastic. <laughs> well, we have met in other lives, actually. It's not yes. uh, nothing is, is by coincidence. <laughs> exactly, in, in this lifetime, the first time we met. Yeah. And yes. And <clears throat> the first time I talked with him, he said, "This is this is my organizing this in Creed. This kinds of activation in this time. It's my purpose. That's why I'm here." I was like, "Oh my God, this is going to be fantastic." <laughs> Yes, indeed. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, and uh, the land of it is very powerful and uh, is a big uh, call uh, to many souls that come here this period of time. And probably there is a call for anybody who is going to come uh, with us uh, in September. Uh, we can say more things about it later. <laughs> yes. And because something <clears throat> I love about how I develop um, Crete is this concept of having a retreat, but like in the ancient times. So it means we're not just going to be in a room, in a closed room, and they go out. No, what we're going to do, the retreat is going to be in the whole island. It's going to be in Crete. And the whole transmissions, all the activations are being done in those magical places, like in ancient times, you know, like philosophers were sharing uh, their wisdom. We're going to do the same thing and allow Mother Earth to bring that to us. But there's something very, very special about Crete. And it's very interesting, all the synchronicity that took me also to Crete, because... At the end, I don't know if I told you this story, Isotiris. At the end of the tour, in the seventh activation in the tour America, in Joshua Tree, you know, I mm -hmm. go to a store, an organic store, and there is, they're selling one bottle of uh, honey from Chania, Crete. And it's like, what are the odds that <laughs> in this remote place, exactly on the 7th, <clears throat> and I knew this is a preparation for the tour in the Mediterranean. This is a preparation to bring this into Crete, to do these activations. This is a preparation with the consciousness of the bees that for me, are um, one of the purest energy consciousness vibrating, the consciousness of the feminine principle. 
And then I start talking to you, and there are all these symbols with, uh, with the B. And the B, for me, brings the, the, the frequency of Timalu. And Timalu, in the language of consciousness, is cosmic universal love, the gravitation force of the universe and multiverse, and that um, elixir that helps maintain everything in cosmic order. And then they give me the points uh, where we should activate. And in the moment that I do the lines, Sotiri says, oh, this is the dance of the bees from Crete. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so well, it's been the... creating with you. Yes, there is a, <clears throat> we co-create together and we co-create with the universe at the same time. Absolutely. And uh, we can co-create all together when we meet and uh, the energies are very intense this period of time. And uh, we are guided and uh, everything that happens, there is, there is a reason for this. You just need to observe the signs, nothing else. And be with the flow. <laughs> and the B... Uh, be, dance with be, the flow. So. <laughs> the, the be, be with the flow, yeah. The be <laughs> is with the flow, is dancing with the flow. <laughs> yes, yes. And this is, this is what we are doing here. Is the, is the place where we're doing the longest in terms of activations? It's like uh, the, the, there's five days and they, we're going to create this gravitational force within ourselves to help us to keep ascending and reawake so much of the wisdom that is there already and to express our androgynous self from the center of the creator and I think it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> the androgynous self, uh, the map you saw before, actually, it includes the, the, both uh, aspects of Crete, which is the androgynous self, which is the union. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the west side is the female part of Crete, and the central side, the, the east side, is the male part of Crete, uh, which is symbolized with Taurus, and the bee symbolized with the bee, the, the female is symbolized with the bee. So we have a union here of the two aspects of um, man, masculine and feminine energy, because this is what we are called to do. Uh, we are called to do the holy uh, wedding, which will happen. Yes, I love that. Us. The holy wedding inside. Oh. <laughs> o Eros Gamos, we say in Greece. Eros Gamos. Eros Gamos. I like it. <laughs> and the, um, the beauty is the way we're going to do it, I feel. Because I remember the first time I got information is like, in Crete, it has to be a retreat. And I was like, how are we going to do the retreat? <laughs> you know, like, and it's just because we need to release all the concepts and the retreat is happening within ourselves. And as you just said, so we're going to have those kind of weddings where we're celebrating the merging uh, of ourselves within ourselves. And we're going to celebrate in each of these points through the days that we're going to be activating. We are going to celebrate that wedding. It's going to be a celebration and it's an inner retreat in nature. We're going to be um, going so within ourselves. And I feel, oh, now I see all, there's a lot of dragons coming into the room. And I see the dragon energy extremely strong coming. And it's like we're going to merge into that androgynous being. And 
having that wedding within ourselves in nature with ancestral wisdom and new information. So that's going to be also another uh, merging, another wedding that's happening. So we're going to have, I don't know how you celebrate wedding in Crete, but in, in Mexico or in Latin America, they're huge. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, so, I was in a wedding this summer. It was about 1,500 people, you know. No. Somebody is, is being married. They, they call the whole village. So they, they, they have been weddings with 3,000 people. All the village, all the area is coming to the wedding. So and, this time uh, we're inviting, we're inviting beings from inner earth, beings from uh, all uh, Gaia, beings from the intraoceanic, interdimensional beings from the galaxy, the universe, and multiverse. All of this are going to be in our wedding celebration through this five days in Crete. I like it. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Would be a fantastic experience. Yes. Yes. Um, no, the more I see it, and then again, it's it's a big dragon just like uh, coming in. Uh, and yes, saying, Hello. Uh, we have also, we have a location uh, where we go to the dragon's location. There are many dragons here and giants as well. <laughs> Uh, personally, I have visited this place. Uh, so these and the, there are even more uh, more locations, but we're going to visit some of the locations. So we treat uh, ourselves again. We retreat again. Oh, that I like it too. Connecting with the dragons. We retreat. <laughs> We're going to treat ourselves so much. Oh, I like it. it, yes. and it <laughs> I, I feel it's also a way of doing an inner retreat and in, in, in movement you know sometimes uh, sometimes we need like just not to move to go inside but in this case what we want is to create that same spiral that we just uh, we just saw in, in in the map right we want that create within ourselves. And we want to create that within every single cell in us. So we want that to be, to go and really, really going through us. So uh, this, is, this is a movement that's also a um, movement within ourselves. And the retreat is going to help us to keep moving all around. And enjoying the beauty of the island and the very deep roots with the consciousness of the bees and the honey. Yes, and uh, yeah, it is, uh, we're going to do also the dance of the bees and uh, connect uh, with this uh, information because th this dance is an ecstatic dance. Uh, the ancient Greek uh, Hellenic uh, culture is very connected with ecstasy because mm -hmm. when we are in ecstasy, we are in this uh, very, especially today, we don't, as a human beings, we don't uh, match very, very often into ecstasy. There are some parts, uh, of course, but in the past, uh, the, this dance of the bees, it's an ecstatic dance. So mm -hmm. when we are in this ecstatic dance, we join the two brains together. We, we do this, mm -hmm. this holy wedding, holy union, mm -hmm. and we connect with the, our inner self. And uh, this is the, the sacred thing, the ecstasy, which is uh, eros, actually. Wonderful. This is the dance of the bee. And, and it's, it has to do, again, with movements, right? It has to do with creating spirals again. So it's like how we create that spirals and for my vision is how we start being multidimensional and start playing with the gravitational force. So, which is also has to do with the bees, how they can move, how they can, it has to do with dragons. I feel um, it, there's a lot of restructuring within ourselves that's going to be happening there. And I just, 
uh, you know, there is a friend of mine sent me the, the, the other day uh, a lot of things about the bees. Do you know the bees are these? I say, yes, yes, yes. But then he sent me the pictures of the coins. So here uh, uh, on the right, we have one of them, but uh, there are other ones. Uh, of that coin, which, uh, which is in the... Um, in the um, which it's part of the culture in Crete and the bee, it's there as part of it. And I'm like... Yes, and in Crete and in many other areas in Greece, uh, there was a special uh, bee here in the past. Now it's not anymore because uh, the European uh, bee went all over. But uh, this connection is already connected from the Minoan times. Uh, there are uh, special uh, documentaries and uh, also uh, artifacts that you can find in the archaeological museum where you can see how the people were uh, co connecting with the bee, except from the jewelry, which was very important in the Minoan uh, sanctuaries. Uh, but also you can find artifacts and... Uh, until the recent years, maybe 50 years ago, the people were uh, getting the honey from the bees with the same exactly uh, way they were getting in the, the, their ancestors. So the connection it's is amazing. not lo lost uh, today. It's, uh, it's still uh, very fresh in the minds of, in the minds of the modern people. It's, uh, that's beautiful because, you know, a lot of the, the even for me, had to change this uh, pattern of the bees are something bad that it's going to sting me and it's going to hurt and, and they're bad, you know? And I feel it's time for them to be a uh, part in our lives from that sacredness. And knowing that there is a place like in Crete where, where that hasn't been lost, it's going to help us to recuperate that through the world and allowing then the consciousness and the beauty and the wisdom and the sacredness of the bees to come back in our world. Because for me, the bees are completely cosmic and they are so co-creative and they bring us so much joy through the honey and so much transformation. We have uh, Marga looking forward to September. Yes, we are. This is going to be fantastic. Hello, Marga. Yes, she's in. Uh, hello, yes. hello, hello, Miquel Moreno. <laughs> Hi, see. There is um, something that I also um, love about Sotiris is because he knows a lot about the Minion, um, uh, Minon culture. So something that you want to share with us, that you feel that this part of what we're going to do and how it's, uh, it's going to enhance the purpose of this Durna activation and the pollination tour which you can see, it's a B also as the logo. <laughs> yes, the Minoan culture actually is the, the first civilization in Europe. So the Minoans, I consider the Minoans not my ancestors, but it's the ancestors of the whole European culture. Because everything starts from the Minoans. Before the Minoans, maybe there were also connections in Egypt or Babylon, Etc. But in Europe, it is the first place that uh, the culture started. And uh, also with Santorini, you may have heard of Santorini. Uh, it was the same uh, period of time. Uh, the Minoans were very connected uh, with uh, nature. It was a very peaceful uh, people and they were very connected uh, with nature. That's why they were connected with the bee. It is said that they had uh, no walls on their cities. So there were no wars. They were very peaceful. Wow. They were very connected with within, and uh, they, they, although mysterious, uh, they didn't leave a lot of uh, uh, you know writings because uh, there was not a, a scripture back then. It was the linear B and the linear A. Uh, they have left us uh, some uh, artifacts and uh, some uh, 
amazing structures uh, which is connected with the myths and uh, we can understand through the, this because um, uh, the last years I explored a lot the Minoan culture, uh, their connection with Mother Earth and how this is, uh, is what we need as a humanity today to reconnect again with our roots. It's very important mm -hmm. to connect uh, with uh, our roots, which is uh, this kind of civilization, uh, the nature of Crete, which mm -hmm. is very powerful, because this will awaken our own nature. And uh, the Minoans uh, had uh, some uh, very interesting ceremonies. We'll try to revive some of these ceremonies. We're going to visit some amazing places where uh, it is said uh, it was the labyrinth. And uh, probably everybody knows the labyrinth. And uh, it's very interesting that uh, you come here uh, in Crete to celebrate uh, humanity again. And yes. uh, our connection with our nature and uh, the nature. And we have also what the integration actually through the Durna tour of the Mediterranean is a lot of the activations are happening in caves. And for me, in the caves, first of all, there's a lot of the, the, the dragon wisdom. And secondly, there are in many of them, there are portals into the inner earth, into dimensionality of Gaia. So I feel that's going to activate with us and those places where you use also in 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 the beginning of civilization as you said and because of that connection with mother earth in all its facets not just the the visual also the energetically and the interdimensional and it's time to bring it back <sighs> Yes, uh, Crete is a very interesting uh, place to be. Uh, it is said that in Crete you can find the, all landscapes of the planet. So wherever you are, you can find different landscapes that remind you different parts of the planet. And all these wow. parts are in Crete. So if you go to East Crete, you see a more uh, moon-like uh, area. Here where I live in Hanya, it's more uh, forests and uh, olives. You know, in different places, it's different. And uh, it's very famous Crete about uh, its uh, caves and uh, gorges as well. There are a lot of fantastic uh, gorges and caves. We're going to visit some of them uh, during our uh, uh, retreat here. And, uh, you know, in Europe, there is the biggest uh, deep cave in Europe, uh, which is uh, 1,200 meters into the earth. Wow, uh, we have, You're really we have into a connection. Yeah, we have a connection uh, with the speleologist uh, this Tuesday about this kind of uh, cave. So there are many, many, and the Minoan people, the Minoans, uh, because they were honoring Mother Earth, uh, they used to uh, have their sanctuaries also inside these caves. So you, in the, some of the caves we go, uh, they have found artifacts. Uh, of sanctuaries uh, where the ancient people, the Minoans, were honoring Mother Earth. So it's not only a cave, it is connected with this civilization. Absolutely. And now that you're saying yes, it's also not a wonder that in this Durna tour, uh, the intention is to bring more of the seventh element on Earth, Durna. And it's it's a, it's, it's a force, a creation force, something that it's going to help us to create a new humanity and uh, give birth to a new civilization through not just one continent, because through the tour, I'm unifying already America and I'm unifying the other ones. And th then it come, come uh, um, New Zealand comes later. But my point is, is that it's, it's, unifying and the places are very well to allow us to have a new beginning to raise a new consciousness to raise a new humanity I, I think I was not till I met you Satyas, I was not 
aware of all that potential. I just receive information. You have to go here, here, and here, and here. <laughs> and then I say, okay, well, I'll go here, 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 here. And this is fantastic. I love it. You know, my, my grandmother was from Crete. I lived many years in London and in Athens. And uh, I had a, a very big uh, call a few years ago to come and, uh, to Crete. I realized, as I told you, that there is a big call from uh, Mother Earth here for uh, high awakened and uh, conscious people to visit the place. There is this activation already happening. So this event uh, that we're going to do together as well is very important with all of you who is coming. Uh, there is a call uh, from this island. So you're going to feel it when you come here. Uh, mm, really powerful. And, and this cannot be only <laughs> expressed with words, you know. Only we can feel about this. We can only buzz it like bees. It's like, oh, yes. Exactly. And we can just say, Z, yes. How do you say yes in Greek? Ne. 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 So, ne. You have ne. to feel the ne. <laughs> ne. And uh, uh, the B in Greek also is called Melissa. Melissa. Mm. And uh, when Zeus, the god of Olympus, Zeus, you know Zeus? Uh, mm -hmm. Dias. Uh, he was born here in Crete, of course. The god of the gods was born in Crete. Uh, we're going to visit his cave as well. And uh, Melissa, Me Melissa uh, the bee, was a goddess. And uh, mm. the goddess bee uh, was uh, feeding him with honey. So it was Amalthea, which was a goat. He was giving him uh, milk. And also it was uh, the bee, who was Melissa, who was giving him honey. And uh, that's why it's very important also with Crete the bee, because Melissa was feeding the god of the gods. And, with honey. Uh, we're going to visit this cave with honey, yes. Uh, it, so is said that, uh, it is said that uh, honey is uh, uh, ambrosia and nectar. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, in uh, the Olympus mountain, the gods uh, of Greeks, uh, they were uh, fed with ambrosia and nectar. The ambrosia was, uh, was like a, a food, and the nectar mm -hmm. was like a drink. And they say that the ingredients mm -hmm. of ambrosia and nectar was uh, the honey. I totally believe it. <laughs> There's no <laughs> doubt about it. It's 100%. And you mentioned something which I believe that it's going to happen. This is part of what's happening in this inner retreat, in this celebration, in this inner wedding that we're having. Is that we are awaking in us the um, bee priestess, the bee magician, beyond gender, something beyond that. It's like a cosmic mother nourishing the God within. So as Melissa nourishing Zeus, in that moment, we're going to be able to nourish ourselves, our divinity, our God, goddess within ourselves. Oof. <laughs> I want to go. <laughs> and so it is. <laughs> Amazing. And so it Amazing. is. Yes. Yes. So it's really an invitation for anybody who feels the call to feel the buzz, to feel, yes, I want to be in this celebration. I want to celebrate my inner wedding in Crete. I want to uh, nourish myself of this nectar from the center of the creation. I want to create the new cosmic order. I want to merge myself with my divinity. I want to create a new civilization on the planet. This is for you. And it's going to be very profound, very beautiful. And I think also very fun because it has to be part of a new 
a civilization, a new humanity, to bring joy to, uh, to this process of ascension, right? Of course. And uh, the period of time we're going to do this uh, retreat is the ideal period here in Crete. You know, late September is really nice. Ooh. Yeah. So, so it's going to be a beautiful nice too. <laughs> yes. Yes. So if you're interested, go around. There are some links to go. You can go and see. If you have questions and a little bit more details, then you have there um, the contact of Sotiris and how to organize. What we're going to do is um, then you can put details. We're going to be, we're going to have meeting points, the first part on one side, then the second part on the other side. But all those details, as soon as you say yes and you have a bit of questions, go ahead. And um, also right now, we, we uh, as you could see, it's also a lot of logistics to organize for a group. So the sooner you just feel the call and go and do your reservation, because that allows us to give a better experience, not just for us, for everybody. So uh, we can really make it work for everybody. So this is gonna be absolutely fantastic and divine. Exactly. And uh, Marga, I'm going to contact you as well. You send me a message. I see you here. And um, about what you asked me. And uh, I also put a link uh, with my YouTube channel, which is uh, not only related with Crete, it's uh, related also with Greek civilization. I used to have in the past uh, a Hellenic uh, culture uh, uh, non-profit organization. It was really interesting. We did amazing uh, workshops about getting deep into the Greek culture and civilization. It's important uh, to reconnect with the whole culture of Greece. Uh, personally, I feel uh, privileged to be Greek and uh, be able to speak this uh, language, which is very important as well, uh, because the, the language awakens, uh, makes this uh, union in our uh, brain. It is a cosmic language. Anyway, we'll have the time to discuss about this and when we meet here. Uh, and uh, I'm going to share also with you some links uh, to have a look. Uh, some of these are in Greek, some are in English. You can uh, get the feeling. Oh, now technology. You just push a button and they make a translation. Sometimes are not perfect at the point, but you, get the, you feel what's going on there. So that's exactly. fantastic. And also... Um, we are working, and when I say we, Sotiris is doing <laughs> most of the investigation is how to create also Cyprus. And just by talking today, Sotiris, I understood, okay, we saw it, we say uh, Crete um, and the culture was the beginning of the European civilization. And in Cyprus, mm -hmm. we have also the the um, Turkey civilization and what we're doing there is we merging both of those beginnings. Um, I have a very strong connection with uh, Turkey, and there's so much information there. And Cyprus is going to offer us the uh, after the wedding. We do the inner wedding, and I feel in Cyprus, we're going to do the wedding with the cosmos. So first, we're doing within ourselves and Gaia. And in Cyprus is when we are complete and celebrate, well, let's do the next uh, wedding celebration with the cosmos and bringing to cultures. And you were sharing with me already some very good information. And so Tiris is doing the details so we can offer you a very nice experience. Yes, in Cyprus, it will be a shorter trip. It will be two and a half to three days uh, maximum. And uh, what you said, Lily, actually in Cyprus, it is said that Aphrodite uh, was, uh, bo was born there. So 
uh, after this Holy Union we're going to do in Crete, then we're going to get the, the child in Cy Cyprus and give it to the cosmic... Uh, oh, uh, that's the, the cosmos. And uh, Aphrodite symbolizes colors and beauty. And uh, we're going to connect with the beauty without as an expression of our inner wedding, which will be exactly. a, a child, Aphrodite, Aphrodite, which is a goddess as well. Wow. Oh, this is getting better and better. <laughs> I can't wait. So for Cyprus, you, you still need uh, to give us a little bit more uh, time. Be patient. So Tiris is working on it. So it makes sense because there is a little detail which has to do with um, the border. We ha there is a border between uh, Turkey and Greece in Cyprus within itself. So we need to, we're going to be doing activation in both sides. So we need to coordinate because we have to pass the border with all the um, the the blah 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 that needs to be done. Uh, exactly. Passport and uh, you know. So we need to go. We're uh, gonna stay. That. We're gonna stay in the. We're going to stay in the Greek territory, but uh, we're going to pass uh, to the Turkish one day and then uh, we need to they check all the passports, you know, so I'm looking for someone who can get us through with no problem in this kind of stuff. That's why I delay a little bit, but it will come as well. Divine timing. It's not far away Divine from timing. here as well. Exactly. So there's going to be the, the, the intention was said that we end the in a retreat in on on the Thursday and the intention is then maybe Saturday and Sunday or something. You'll know. The idea is that it's going to be a conclusion. And in Cyprus is also the merging of all other places I've been in the Mediterranean. So it makes so much sense what you're saying because then it's the burn of the uh, <laughs> of our cosmic expression here on Earth. Oh, I got shivers. <laughs> Aphrodite. Aphrodite. Oh, Another goddess. <laughs> Another goddess within ourselves. This is going to be so much fun. So thank you so much. So there is also, th I, I say again, thank you to Marco for making uh, it happen for the connection. And... Uh, Thank you for uh, saying Thank you yes. to Marco too, and I may speak to him soon, and uh, we connect as well. And uh, everybody who needs any information, uh, I'll put the links, uh, you share the links, and uh, I will be glad to help uh, any questions they may have. That's fantastic. So see you very soon, because time passes fast. And remember, feel the call, go and resurf. So you can have a better experience and make it easier for us to organize it for you. So have a beautiful exactly. evening, a beautiful day. And uh, let's go to Crete and Cyprus. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so bye much. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.